We're about to ship out another one of our Q-Beta prototypes uh, with the uh, silicon graphite power cells. This particular one is going out pre-assembled. I don't do that very often, but on occasion I will. And on this particular occasion, this was sort of a custom build, so I wanted to make sure everything worked really great. So I've got a little setup. I'm going to show you what this, just one of the things that this thing can do. It's, it's pretty interesting. But uh, uh, this has the new revision for cells, which are totally sealed cell, and they're prior to previous versions. It also has some new circuitry on it that does something uh, really, really incredible. You'll see. You're going to love this, so stick around and take a look at this. But uh, these 12 cells, each, every two of them are connected in series, and that pair will go and charge individual uh, ultra caps internally they go on the board and they they connect on the board so uh, each one of these six ultra caps is charged up by its own individual uh, cell pair so it, it charges up faster it does a really good job and um, and that's what it's all connected everything is hardware connected it's all wired together this is all one unit you lift it it's all just one piece uh, that's uh, that's pretty cool on this. I will fire it up in just a second. Let me just show you what we're gonna what we're gonna do here. This uh, I've got uh, two meters. Uh, each one's connected to its own battery. This number six battery here has its negative post going up to the positive source right here. The sum of all these caps is what feeds the machine, and then this charges those individually, and then it sums up to 16.2 volts. At max, I like to keep it about uh, 15 to 16 volts, so it's a little bit lower, so the, the caps will get their maximum life, which is half a million to a million cycles. That's a lot. But anyway, uh, so, so that negative is going into the positive source right here, and then its positive connection is going over here to the solid-state relay. Now, this is where the negative pulses out to the coils. So it's going to do that six times per rotation, of the rotor every time that goes around it pulses six times and uh, and each one of those each one of those pulses comes back and you know the field collapses and the positive comes back out at this point so it comes out that wire and I've got a little white piece of plastic so you can see there's a 1N 4007 diode so you've got a positive coming into the positive post here and you've got a positive coming into the negative post here. This is the uh, this is the Bedini style of charging, and it works really well. Anybody that's ever done it knows that. If you haven't, you should have. But uh, so that's that's how this particular battery charges. Now this one charges differently. Uh, there's a bridge rectifier here. The green wires that you see in here are the AC coming off the generator. And then you've got your positive and negative coming off of that. And so you've got a common inductance that's going to charge this. Plus, you've also got uh, another wire coming into that. So you get some of that spike from the collapsing fields of these every, every pulse as well. So you're going to get a little inductive spike on both of these. But this one's driven totally or charged totally on that. And this one's mostly inductance. inductance. Two different ways. And simultaneously too. So that's just uh, that's just one little cool test, and and it's something that actually works. You don't have to use these. These are motorcycle size uh, AGM batteries, but they're just it's small and it's easy to show. So I'm going to show you with that. But the uh, buyer of this particular machine is uh, this is shipping overseas, and probably a good 70, 75 percent of all our machines and and uh, silicon graphite panels have been going out of the country. But the other 25-30% uh, that are here have been really strong. I mean, but most people, if they buy a six-cell unit, they'll come back and get six more cells or even 12 more cells and, and uh, beef up the system, and it works better. It just charges the caps faster and lungs for, runs for much longer durations. Uh, and, and then it recharges the caps. I mean, it's, you may charge batteries up for a few hours, and then uh, you can shut it off. This is a self-starting machine. People say... Well, you know, you, 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 why don't you make them self-starting? Well, it's easy to make them self-starting. I just didn't want to add a lot of extra uh, wiring and, and electronics, but, but I'll show you. Uh, we'll turn it on just a second, and uh, you'll get to see what this does. This battery here shows on the meter it's 12.73. These batteries like to be about, they like to rest at over 13 volts, usually 
uh, 13.1, 13.2 is what these batteries are. So that's that's actually lower than, than a, a good full charge. This one's a little higher. It's 12.92 on this battery. You can see on the meter there. So um, let's fire it up. Hit the switch. On she goes. Here's the best part. You're, you're seeing it right now. Four seconds on, when the little LED light comes on, four seconds on, seven seconds off. Now, keep in mind that that rotor has very large N52 magnets on it, and each one of those magnets must weigh almost a half a pound, so it's, they're very heavy. And there's six of them on the rotor, and they're spinning past 12 coils. So, if you don't think that that's going to generate some electricity while it's coasting for seven seconds, you need to go back to school because uh, this is pretty cool. Now, this is sort of like, and I have to allude back to, to uh, John Bedini. I mean, he's, he's such a knowledgeable guy, and I think a lot of us miss him so much. But um, the Bedini Watson uh, machine that a lot of you have seen way back in, in the past, it, it had kind of a, a deal like this, only it was a separate motor that would run a huge flywheel. Now this is much smaller system obviously by <laughs> leaps and bounds smaller but uh, but it does the same thing. There's a shorter on time and a longer off time and the off time it's it's generated power so the on time is generating power as well. Now you can see what it's doing here. Uh, this one's okay now watch when it pulses on on the high side it's it's over 12.9 uh, this one is 12.95 and it's going to, of course it's at the top so it's got to come higher and so it's going to go it's going to be doing that a little bit slower than this that's that's getting these uh, inductive spikes only but you can see right here that we're about three quarters of an amp let's bring it up oh I can bring it up to three amps if I wanted to I mean let's just Let's just bring it up to one. See, I can dial it way up if I want. But let's just hold it at about one amp so that you can see better. That's a really good charging rate. There we go. Okay. Now you can see this one's driven up over 13 volts. And this one's coming up a little bit higher too, these two batteries. Now the buyer of this is not going to be using a system like this. This particular customer... I've got, uh, uh, let me explain what he's going to do. I've got a little bank of super caps here. They're each five and a half volts, and, and the uh, sum total is only one farad of those. They're 16 and a half volts in total at one farad. And what they do is they balance out that, that output that's coming through the inductance that's going to go into, instead of a, directly into battery, he's going to be putting that into an MPPT charge controller, which I think is a really cool idea. And that way, those, those waves of, of power that's coming off of this will be analyzed by the MPPT and maximize that charging ability into his, into his batteries. So that's what this particular machine is going to do. I thought I'd show you some of this before we ship it off because uh, here it is, and it's got this new circuitry in it. And it's got the, the better cells, and it's, it's got this awesome freaking timer. And you, you're uh, actually off almost twice as much as you are on almost four to seven ratio that's in seconds now this will go up to 99 seconds on both your on times and your off times and all the way down to one second so you could have it one second on one second off or you could have it 99 seconds on and 99 seconds off but uh, I just found that uh, the four and seven work pretty good and I've tried I've tried different uh, settings and that's that's half the fun plus you can you know change your current anytime and and give it a, a higher amount of current to to run through the system and charge these up and just do it in a faster city this is up to 1297 this is over 13 volts so this is very very efficient but going into the MPPT charge control I think is just going to be a really incredible thing to see so I'm kind of anxious to uh, get some reports on that too but this is the the new 12 cell uh, custom build. I'll probably be doing this circuit because I know everybody's going to want this. This uh, doubles your capability of, of out, not quite doubles, but you can see that while it's freewheeling, it's uh, using that kinetic energy to uh, 
to get the uh, inductance to keep on doing its job. Pretty cool, huh? I thought I'd briefly mention as well, there's two little buttons on here. I don't know if you can see them, they're black. But uh, one is to set your your on time and the other is to set your off time. You just press it once to, to on the top one to get your on time. And then you can press these the pl plus and minus for up and down to increase or decrease the amount of seconds that you have it on. And then you do the same thing with the bottom one for the off time. Really, really super simple and, and awesome little circuit. But uh, this is going to work really good with the MPPT because you don't have to monitor batteries. And I mean, look, this is already a 13.11, 13.12, and uh, comes up higher. I mean, it'll drive it'll drive this one easily up to you know 15, 16 volts and give it a a, a super high end <laughs> spiky double positive charge which is really cool for the battery the battery gets really strong but but this one's coming up nice with the inductance you can see it's 1298 at this point but in time it'll it'll come right up and it'll rest at its 13.2 uh, so uh, but with the MPT, MPPT it, it just monitors all that for you it's just automatic you don't have to worry about it and then when you're done if you want to let this thing rest if it's not outputting as much as it should because it, it'll drain this down to a certain point just turn the switch off, let this sit for an hour or so, charge the bank back up, and then fire it back up. It's all automatic. Just hit the switch, and it's good to go. Now the meter's about to go off. Okay, that's it. I thought you'd like to see this before we ship this one out. Thanks. Come to our website. Check out this stuff. Quantumagnetics.com. See you there.